1245, Google's new photo app automatically backs up your photos to the cloud, giving you the ability to edit and manage your images from any device. Technology consultant Francie Black is here to show us all how it works. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. Hey, thank you. Yeah, so Google Photos just came out, and there was a similar app, so don't be confused with it. It was uh, Google Plus Photos, and this is separate now, and it's a private backup for your photos where Google Plus was shared. This is actually separate backup for all your photos from your devices. And when you back them up, they are accessible via the web to all your other devices. So your laptops, your desktop, um, and your mobile devices. Okay. And it has much more than just backup. You can also do editing and other things. So let's huh. dig into it here. So it looks very similar to your camera roll once you, um, once you log in, but you can start pinching for navigation and uh, it'll break it down to month and you can scroll through th for year. Okay. And then you can zoom in and get to your photos and then you can edit. So typical backup wouldn't have editing features. So this has some editing. Now this is basic editing. It's not, you know, if you're a professional photographer, you're gonna be using better <laughs> editing tools <laughs> than that. But it does have some, you know, contrast and light and so forth. Okay. Um, but some of the really cool features with this. Now I have thousands of photos on my phone and most of us take tons. I want one of you on the Fury. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How'd you recognize that? I did do it. Oh. <laughs> the Carowind pictures. That's right. Very good. Very good. You're sharp. Um, is that you can search by um, a lot of different criteria. So rather than just browsing like I was doing through the pinching, it actually, Google goes in and actually scans your photos and looks for common themes. So people, places, or wow. things. And okay. so I didn't tag any of this. It automatically did that. So for me, it found my face, and then it found other related photos that have me in it. And so I don't have to go scrolling through. This is pretty cool. Okay, so here's Nevada, and so I can look at that, and it'll find pictures of Nevada or some other location. Now, if it doesn't recognize that or put it here in places, you can actually go up here to search. This is pretty cool. Watch this. I'm going to put in here dog. So he's going to search my 2,000 photos and find pictures of dogs. Wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> and I could do it of horses. I could do it of lakes. I could do it of um, water. I could do it of fog. Um, here's horses. Okay. So pretty amazing. Now, I didn't tag those. Again, it looked at those photos, recognized the shapes, and said, hey, those must have horses in it. So those are a couple of the unique features. Okay. There's a couple more that are really impressive. Um, and it's, they have something that's called collections. Now, we're used to having albums and storing related, grouping related photos. But this takes it a step further than that. So you can actually take photos and just in seconds create movies or storyboards. So here's a little movie. So I selected a few pictures. And I'm going to go ahead and play this here, see if we get a sound. This literally took about one minute to do, maybe 30 seconds. It was really tap my photos, pick my theme, pick my music, and I have a movie that I can share from my grouped photos. Wow. So it does a lot of the work for you. And then the last one is um, stories, which is a little bit like um, movies, but it doesn't have all the, the sound. But it creates a timeline. Okay. And then you can navigate through it and share it with people and it shows you sort of this flow of story timeline and again and it will actually automatically suggest some of these as well so you can take what they suggest or you can create your own so pretty impressive neat stuff yeah i have one quick question about it so my phone right now says that it needs to be backed up my cloud is full i have to pay money yeah, to back yeah. it up yes can i okay. put these on this okay so there's a couple of different things that you can do now if you do google Okay. If you do Google um, Photos, there is no fee for this. It'll back up your photos, and you can delete some photos off of your phone. Okay. Now, if you have higher resolution photos from another device, then there is a fee for that that counts against your Google Drive. So there's a couple of tips there okay. to watch out for. All right. So to find out those tips, and if you want to learn more about the apps, of course, Francie has all the answers for you. <laughs> um, so just go to WLOS.com, click on Tech Time, and there you can also sign up for her free e-newsletter. There you can find all of those tech tips and iPad wisdom.